Hello, and a very warm welcome to our second Ocean Decade Laboratory, a predicted ocean. There's not a person on Earth that's not touched by the healthy state of the ocean or the changes that are taking place in the ocean. Essentially, we are developing science for the ocean we want. Not one of this can take care of this by himself or herself. We need to work together. We need this network or this engagement network. For accurate long-term prediction, it is time for us to unify the whole ocean. And within that ocean, it's 75% of all the living animals on the planet. So it's a really biodiverse, really vital part of the world. We just can't be everywhere and sample everything. So modeling is our powerful tool to bring together the information that we do have. It is an ocean world and there's no way we can escape that. What I uh, important for us is to be able to uh, bring information from society into our plate so as to uh, start on a feedback system and make them understand what our worries are. We've sort of become accustomed to the services the ocean provides uh, and taking them for granted, including the uptake of anthropogenic CO2, but um, that's not going to continue. I agree, we have quite a task ahead of us, um, but I'm positive that we can achieve it in educating everyone. It is impressive how, where we are with ocean protection today. I'm talking about uh, AI, big data, digital twins that are game changers. I'm talking about climate and biodiversity coming together. I mean, we share one world and we should share all the data. I, I mean, I think that's most important that we uh, actually uh, support international collaboration as much as we can. Cost sharing is an issue and this, this matters because ocean science can be very expensive. I feel that there needs to be a greater contribution from industry and some of the benefits derived by industry need to be fed back towards maintaining the system and much rich communities who depend on the ocean environment. My name is Chip Cunliffe. I'm the Biodiversity Director at AXA XL, which is the property and casualty arm of AXA. Um, and my role really is to understand how we impact nature um, and to develop tools and really work with the business to ensure that nature and biodiversity is part of our decision making process. It's extremely significant that we actually engage stakeholders and users right from the beginning. We talk less and listen more. We participate in what's going on and wait to see how you can add in our help. I think the decade they should do transformative science. And for the users and for having more societal benefit and support to sustainable development goals. would come back to the, the co-design and the fact that we need to listen. We have to develop trust because uh, people need to trust that our information is useful. And then of course we have a much better interaction and communication or, um, I mean, we become a joint group then with the users. The United Nations General Assembly proclaimed 2021 to 2030 as the United Nations Decade of Ocean Science for Sustainable Development, in short, the Ocean Decade. This decade will belong to those early career professionals and they will be in the seats that Detlef and I are holding now, 10 years from now.